We're gonna dredge for oysters. That's what this metal thing is here, an oyster dredge. If we were out here to make money, uh, or we would use a much wider dredge. Uh, this one also has uh, an element of cheating to it. This thing on here is called a dive plate. Uh, it forces the dredge to the bottom and then it, the water pushing it into the bottom will make these teeth drive into the oyster bed and break the oysters loose. Don't hurt them. So uh, dredging is destructive. So if you think about when John Smith rolled in here, when did he get here? 1608, 1607. Uh, when he came in, you know, there were mountains of oysters all over the bay. Mountains. People were harvesting them. Native Americans ate oysters. We know that because what did they leave behind? All the shells, midden piles all around the bay region. But eventually, we started taking more and more and more and had technology and metal tools like this where if we drag this across a mountain of, of oysters over and over again, it flattens them down and it puts them all the way on the bottom. What have we found as far as water quality? Where's the healthiest water? At the top. And so if you start pushing them down towards the bottom, a hard rain, they can get buried. Or in the summertime, when the oxygen levels, they're high up top, they're not so high at the bottom, you can potentially kill the oysters. Also, the bay, it used to be a very benthic ecosystem uh, with underwater grasses and with oysters and crabs and everybody happy all down at the bottom. And now we've driven pretty much all the life near the surface. We took away a lot of the grasses by clouding up the water. If the water, water isn't clear enough for sun to shine down, what can't grow on the bottom? Grasses. So with cloudy water, the grasses go away. Right now we only have about 24% of the grasses we should have. So we're missing 75% of the underwater grasses. How are they filters? They capture all the large particles. So they slow the water down. Dirt and sediment can fall out. And their roots can hold on to that dirt. How else do they filter the water? So they also filter because they take um, different uh, they, vegetables from the roots. Right, right. They, they take, take up, up nutrients. nutrients. And, and they're green plants. They can put oxygen in the water. Uh, grasses beget grasses, too. Once you have grasses established, uh, they can start spreading themselves out because they create good water quality around them. With good water quality, the sun can shine down to the bottom, more grasses can grow. So back to the oysters here. They are, have now been pushed down to the bottom because we flattened out their reefs. Uh, and we got to bring them back because oysters, are they a filter? Big time natural filter, big time habitat, uh, big time industry, uh, huge. We're gonna try to dredge some up. After we dredge them up, we'll pick through or call our catch. We'll build our very own oyster reef and we can continue this conversation of why they are so important.